You have to be for every business. If you're a bottom-up, you're bottom-up. The Democratic Party is the top-down party. We have to be consistent across that. If we do that, once upon a time, the Republican Party was a party of ideas and it was a party of fun. If I go to a college campus now and try to start a college Republican club, I get three nerdy guys and the girl who can't get a date. <laughs> but it's if I harsh. go there now, but if I go there but now fair. and try to start organic Republicans, natural Republicans, if I have a t-shirt that says, let's do it naturally, economic <laughs> growth, we can have fun again. <laughs> we can be the party of ideas. And I think there is an agenda that comes with that. Yes, kill the big bad thing, but look, the global middle class is going to double in the next 17 years or so. That statistic came from Bain Capital, so I know it's true. <laughs> Do we remember what happened in this country when the middle class bloomed? That's going to happen globally. It's going to happen in an environment where we're connected in ways we've never been. Turns out we have energy abundance. Human capital with access to resources it's never had and all of this in the middle of an explosion of technology. We're on the edge of a new global economic frontier here, the most promising time in human history. There's gonna be an explosion of prosperity here. Who is all that going to belong to? It can belong to this country. That's what we ought to be focusing on, what a Republican party, austerity is what we have now. So I think you're gonna see that kind of Republican candidate coming and that kind of agenda.